number of people needing unemployment benefits it's inched up in the last month. The unemployment rate rose 0.1 percent. That's to 8.3 percent in August. Texas unemployment rate is still much lower than the national rate, which came in at 9.6 percent in August. And with our prolonged unemployment and tight economy, more and more Americans are choosing to deal with some of their medical problems directly with their pharmacist, skipping a doctor to go to a compound or specialized pharmacy. For a variety of reasons, the number of Texans without health insurance rose by 6.4 percent last year. 26 percent of our population in Texas now uninsured. As KXAN's David Scott reports, all new at 5, they're looking for less expensive treatments whenever they can. Thank you, Thank you very much. All Have right. a great day. You too. Yeah. Compound pharmacies that mix specialized therapeutics are seeing more business these days. Well, absolutely, because a lot of times, you know, patients can't afford to go see the doctor. So a lot of times they'll come and seek out our opinions on things they can get over the counter. And there's just a lot of options that, that there are over the counter that can help with a lot of those issues. Pharmacists and the medical community agree that for serious issues calling for prescription drugs, a doctor's visit is required. But many can't afford afford that and others choose not to. 46 million Americans are currently uninsured, but 40 percent of them make $50,000 or more a year. The number of middle-income Texans uninsured rose 40 percent this decade. And a lot of us simply choose not to have health coverage. 21 percent of Texans who were offered coverage by their employers last year turned it down. And that's an increase of 4 percent. At the Dripping Springs Compound Pharmacy, they're seeing more do-it-yourselfers, folks who are looking for preventive herbs and medicines. So that's what we see in this community is a lot of, uh, as I said, well-educated people that, that understand supplements and how they can, uh, can avoid uh, health problems in the future. And an expensive doctor's visit. Absolutely. Matt Jones with pulmonary issues, asthma, and diabetes often needs a doctor. But by doing his own research and connecting with his pharmacist, he sometimes is able to seek cheaper alternatives for other aches and pains. I checked with a pharmacist over there and bought uh, this bottle of prostate medicine. I haven't had a prostate problem since. And I'm beginning to feel more and more comfortable about... Uh, alternative medicines. And you can see from this box that Mac has become a believer. But there are alternatives out there and they're far cheaper than prescription medicines. More and more Americans are feeling the same way. David Scott, KXAN, Austin News.